Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we discuss everything about Skullgirls Mobile. So as a sequel to a video I made a few weeks ago, we will be talking about silver variants and the best ones you should look out for, especially if you're new to the game. Silver variants are much stronger than bronze variants and their stats show this. Some of them have really good stats that allow them to compete against the tough diamond defenders in high streaks. Their signature abilities are often quite simple enough to be understood and it can really elevate them a tad higher even against some of their gold counterparts. Just do be careful as they are still quite weak and will often die in a few hits. So just as a disclaimer here, as usual, the order in this list is random and is no indication of their strength. I've decided that again, putting numbers on things can be quite distracting from what I'm trying to say and it is best to keep it as simple as possible. Without further ado, we're going straight into the random list of the best silver variants in this game. First one in this list is Resonant Evil. Resonant Evil has a reputation of being a streak breaker, especially for newer players in this game. And that is still true to this day. With a ridiculously high HP stat for a silver, Resonant Evil is a huge wall that can be hard to kill early on. Furthermore, his ability to stun is super dangerous and is almost guaranteed a sure death if it ever hits you. Just like any silver defenders, he does start to fall off once you understand more about the game, have access to immunity and precision, and can inflict curse and armor break reliably to counter him. Regardless, Resonant Evil is still a notable defender that can surprise you if underestimated. I'm not gonna lie here, I did consider to add Troublemaker here after his buff, but I do still think Resonant Evil is still just a tad bit better. Next on this list is Toad Warrior. Toad Warrior is a quintessential Cerebella variant. With the ability to gain meter easily, it will take no time for you to start spamming diamond drops and diamonds are forever. Furthermore, her second ability amplifies her damage by a whopping 50% blockbuster damage. That is a huge number and allows her to outdamage even the higher tier Cerebellas along with her high attack stat. Is she just a huge stat stick? Yes, and obviously, that is mostly what Cerebella has to offer, and Toad Warrior does it exceptionally well unlike her other silver peers. In late game, she can even be used against Frost Armor nodes when paired with Sketchy. She's a great silver variant and one of the best ones I would recommend to invest in. Then we have Doublelicious, and she is one of the best variants in the game for buff control. Her ability to steal buffs ensures that nothing can really stop her from inflicting tons of debuffs from Double's own marquee ability, Chaos. You just need to invest in a whole bunch of crit rate and she will start wrecking havoc all over the place. An absolutely brilliant variant that you need to have in your collection. Buffs are an essential part of this game and being able to remove, or in this case, steal them is a huge advantage for you. Just be careful when playing her because just like any other double, she is absolutely frail and will die in one hit. Always make sure to bring a valentine in the back to save you when you make a mistake. You can never be too safe. Coming up next is Bad Miss Frosty and she is a really cool variant to have. Her ability to disable blockbusters is a very nice meter control that can save you in certain spots. But I think her main role is the ability to inflict armor break which is huge to deal with pesky defenders like the Resonant Evil and Frost Armor nodes. Either Marky ability will work for her, you can go the bleed route for damage or you can go to the armor break and leech route which is really good against Frost Armor's reflect damage. I would say she's more of a niche pick but she has flexibility and Phileas combo potential that makes her a decent fighter to invest in. We then have Perfect Dark, another really strong silver variant that I would absolutely highly recommend to invest. With an absurdly high attack stat for a silver, Perfect Dark can deal tons of damage and eliminate foes in just 3 moves. However, her first signature ability is also insane and helps her a ton. By simply being in the field for 10 seconds against the same opponent, 
they will suffer a timeless death mark and curse. Curse is a huge debuff to prevent any buffs from the opponent while death mark amplifies your crit damage. Altogether, you have a killing machine that cannot be stopped because of curse which prevents any defensive buffs from triggering. To top it off, if you are good at headless, your head hits have a small chance to instantly kill the opponent below 50% health. That is crazy. What more can I say here? I absolutely think Perfect Dark is the best offensive silver variant in this entire game. Coming up next is Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday needs a little investment in crit rate to get her going, but once she's in full swing, she will be bleeding the competition like there's no tomorrow. Deathmark also amplifies her crit damage which perfectly syncs with the crit rate that you want on her. In action, she will easily melt the enemies and gaining 5 stacks of bleed on them is pure child's play. If anyone can compete with Perfect Dark for the top spot of best offensive silver, it is Freaky Friday. Oh, did I mention that Freaky Friday's attack stat is also tied with Perfect Dark? That is crazy. An absolute killing machine. The only problem is that unlike Perfect Dark, she cannot inflict curse to deal with defenders that can get immunity. That is her only weakness, but aside from specific matchups, she will still destroy her opponent with ease. Moving on, we have Shadow Ops, one of my favorite silver variants in this entire game. Although her attack stat is not comparable to the others that have come before her, she is a parasol with tons of utility in addition to her ability that can inflict curse. Now let me tell you, parasol as a fighter, as you may have already know, is insane with tons of damage potential from her markability crit mass. She needs a bit of crit rate and crit damage to get going, but once you have at least 3 tiers in the field, she will start to pop off with some insane damage. Again, this won't be as high as Perfect Dark or Toad Warrior, but Shadow Ops utility completely outweighs them. Being able to inflict curse just by being near a tier is so easy to activate. It is also very useful for rift battles as well as it shuts down tons of defensive strategies easily. Furthermore, Precision and Immunity Taunt of course helps Shadow Ops to deal with certain defenders in a way that most other fighters cannot. Damage will be a problem in high streaks, but at that point, you probably don't want a Silver Variant anyway as your main carry. Regardless, just from utility alone, I have got to add Shadow Ops into this list. We're getting to the fun part here with Inkling as our next fighter. I absolutely love playing Inkling. She can do some very funny stuff here with a little bit of investment. I have tons of attack and piercing to deal massive damage here, and Inkling's ability further bolsters her damage output while also having a chance for special moves to be unblockable. Just look at this gameplay here. Bomb spamming for your entire life. It is so fun as heck to play, I'm just mashing tons of buttons here without thinking. This is also possible because I have Harley Quinn in the back to help with the special move cooldown. Now, you can also invest in more special move cooldown if you want to make this even faster. What else can I say here? I think this gameplay speaks for itself on how good Inkling can be, even in high streaks. And then we have Perminator, another fun variant with tons of potential for high damage, even in higher streaks. I previously have made a video about Perminator and showcasing some fights and gameplay on her, and needless to say, the ability to gain a permanent 3% damage increase means her attack stat just keeps getting higher and higher throughout the fight. Now, she does need some time to get to that level, but her potential is there and she is so fun to play with as well. I do have to admit that Vector Protector is also a strong contender here because of Miasma. But I do think that Perminator is much easier to use and more intuitive, which is why she's here instead. Go check out the video if you want to see more Perminator in action. We've come to the final variant, which is Killjoy, one of the best support variants you can have in this game. As a Valentine, she has access to Trauma Center, which will save you from near death. 
Furthermore, her ability allows you to revive your teammates once she's dead, and she is the best silver support variant with no doubt. An absolute must to have if you're new to the game. However, because she's a support variant, you do not need to evolve her and she can still work even as a gold or a silver. In defense, she's also annoying to face with and there has been times where, where her ability to resurrect her teammates made me lose a streak. I do not like facing Killjoy, but she is always a good variant to have in your bench. Alright y'all, so that is the end of this video. I highlighted 10 silver variants that are really good for different purposes, and I hope this video helps a lot of new players that are getting into this game. There are tons of variants and choosing which ones to invest in can be quite tricky. Hopefully this helps, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this list. Be sure to give a like and subscribe if you find this content useful. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you all have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video.